Good day to you all. My name is Michael Greenacre and I'm here in this wonderful spot in central Catalonia. My route took me to this sign and it says in Catalan, No som mes calas nostres decisions. In English that is, we are no more than our decisions. Well, I made a decision and my decision is not to use the most popular measure of sample difference in multivariate ecology and that is the Bray Curtis dissimilarity. Of course, this is a free world and you're welcome to use it if you like. But let me tell you the reasons for my decision. Well, after that walk, let's have this talk, which might turn out to be a little bit controversial and cause some debate. Anyway, I like to start talks like these with limericks, and I'm going to give you three limericks as a summary of my talk. Two botanists called Curtis and Bray came up with an idea one day. To distinguish samples A and B, let's invent a dissimilarity which their essential difference will convey. The idea was simple as you'll see, so Bray Curtis gained popularity, but count data being notoriously skew transformations they had to do to balance high counts with rarity. But for me, on closer inspection, their index has gained disaffection. When large count ranges are found, size and shape differences do confound, which, after detection, lead to Bray Curtis rejection. Well, after that uh, walk and the talk, I'm enjoying a nice Catalan talia, which is the same as a Spanish cortado. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the talk. And, well, good luck with all your multivariate analysis and let me know how you're doing. Bye bye.